Hey, my name is Gaia Athena and today I'm bringing you a book review of Kikarella by Ashley Poston. I hope it's not too windy that you can hear that in here. I just finished reading this book. I totally love the cover by the way. This is um, a Cinderella retelling. It's called Kikarella. And it is about uh, two characters. Elle, um, Elle is a geek and she loves uh, the TV show Starfield, which is a, a fictional TV show in this book. And she loves this um, TV show and she sees that there is a cosplay uh, competition uh, sponsored by the producers of this show and she really wants to enter her life is not um, the greatest. Her stepmom and stepsisters are not very nice to her. And the other perspective that we follow in this book is from uh, Darian, and he is uh, an actor, a teen actor, who plays the the main lead Commodore in the reboot film of uh, this fictional TV show Starfield and so we follow both of their perspectives here is the synopsis in case anyone wants to read it for themselves I don't know if you can really see that but. and Darian has his own um, problems and yeah I thought it was really interesting to read from these two perspectives in the beginning I warmed more quickly to L. I, in the beginning, I preferred her perspective over Darian's, but after a while, I started to really appreciate his perspectives as well. They're, they're done in alternating chapters. I really liked everything in this book to do with Starfield and all the references to that, and it's quite stormy today. But this room has I think the best lighting now that the sun is, is kind of gone like almost behind the farm the, the house over there so the book also has sometimes some references to like Star Trek and Star Wars and Harry Potter and I liked I liked that too it, I felt like it wasn't too much Starfield of course plays a big role in this book Elle's father was was really into that as well. He unfortunately uh, passed away, and that's why Elle is now living with her stepmom. And Darian's got some problems because he has a father who is is really pushing him with his acting and everything. Elle also has a blog, and yeah, I that's probably enough about the synopsis. I quite like this book. The beginning immediately gripped me with all those old Starfield references and I wanted to know more about it. Uh, it took me a little bit of time to warm up to Darian's perspectives in the beginning, but later on I really grew more to appreciate them. I actually read this book pretty quickly. I read it in two days and I read, I read like the first 200 plus pages in a day, like in an afternoon, so I thought that was pretty... That's pretty unusual for me because uh, with normal like text books I don't tend to read like that many pages in a day usually but I was really enjoying the book I still had a lot to do that day but I was feeling really tired so I only did the things that were really necessary that day and I decided for the rest of the staff to do it another day this was Saturday afternoon Part of the book also has uh, like sometimes like a text message. I don't know if you can like um, in some parts of the book there is text messages like that. This is, this is the, one of the earlier appearances. So I hope that's not too much of a spoiler if you read the exact text, if you could even do that <laughs> quickly. Um, and this makes for a little bit faster reading. I personally like that and then in between the text you get like the characters uh, thoughts on what's happening and so yeah in short I really enjoyed this book 
I don't read a lot of uh, retellings. Actually, that's not entirely true. I do um, read the Geronimo Stilton's uh, retellings of literary works, but then it is really retelling the same story, but then more for a younger audience. So I don't know if that's really a retelling or not, but I feel like um, on book two, most of the retellings we see are um, young adult uh, science uh, fantasy or science fiction. There are some uh, contemporary ones as well. I would call this more like a contemporary, but there's definitely more in this than like romance. There are definitely also elements like the, the, the family and friendship and all that is in here as well. Another siren. And no, I'm not that upset at it. I feel more bad for uh, the person or the people who um, are injured or whatever is going on. I We have uh, three different vehicles here that do these kind of sirens and I can't distinguish between each of them how they sound. My sister can. I They all sound similar to me, so. So I don't know if it's like an ambulance or a fire truck or a police car. Anyway, back to the book. I like the book a lot. I felt for the characters, particularly for Elle. She gets treated really badly by her step family, like her stepmom and the, the, the stepsisters. And I felt really bad for her. So this is Elle, that's Sage who works at, they both work at this uh, food truck called the Magic Pumpkin, which sells vegan treats. And this is Darian. I thought that might be interesting to, to show. Um, Darian is a person of color, and there is some LGBT representation in the form of side characters. I'm sorry, it's taking me like a long time to do this review. I really enjoyed this book. I had heard um, some good reviews from people about this book, which is why I bought it uh, some time ago, and then it was now the yes, yesterday, yeah, yesterday that I felt in the mood to suddenly read this book, and so I did. <laughs> and I have to say, yeah, I quite liked it. I think if you also are a fan of t certain TV shows or movies or something, that you will enjoy this book um, more than if you're not. My partner and I have, the past few years, been watching a lot of the Star Trek TV series. For me, it was new. He has seen a lot of it, like when he was younger on TV and such in the UK. I don't know if it was on TV here back in those days. Possibly, but I didn't know of it and I didn't watch it. Uh, so we are currently um, watching Voyager, no spoilers. So I mean, so I'm, my mind has been on Star Trek because so we regularly watch that. We worked our way through um, several, we watch Next Generation and then we watch Deep Space Nine. Now we're watching Voyager. I have already seen Enterprise, we watched that a while ago. Anyway, it is not, I did not mean to start a discussion on that, but what I meant is that I could relate to some of the things in this book and I would not call myself like a huge fan in the sense that I don't know everything I have not seen everything hundreds of times because I'm just watching it now so not like that but I enjoyed all the references and like things like that I really like that about this book and there aren't a lot of books about like being a fan person this is how my book reviews get so long and I'm so sorry I tried to make it short, but it just never ends up being short anymore. When I was, when I just started my YouTube channel, if you look up those reviews, they're a little short. I think this is Frank. That is not how I had imagined it, but anyway, I am tired, which that's when my videos get even more rambly and when the footage especially gets long, because then I just sit here for a while not knowing what to say. <laughs> or rather gathering my thoughts and trying to make them form sentences with words and make it comprehensible. When I am really tired, my brain is really slow and I have trouble concentrating and so it's hard to get some things across, if that makes sense.
Now, the author is releasing another book soon, I think. And I will definitely have to pick that up now. When, when it's out or pre-order it or something. I'm not sure like when it comes out or whether it's already out. I think it's not out yet, but I'm not entirely sure. But yeah, I think it will be released, I think within the next couple of months, possibly in April, or it could be like May or March. Anyway, so I'll be picking up that book as well. I believe it, I didn't totally um, look at the synopsis because I looked at that before I had finished this book. And so I didn't want to spoil myself, but one side character in this is in that book. I don't know about anybody else. I just read like the first line of the synopsis and I was like, okay, this is related to that book. So I'm not going to read anymore. Anyway, so yeah, I like this book. I like the characters, the references, the way that the Cinderella, the Cinderella retelling was done. So yeah, I really like this book. Thank you very much for watching this video and I hope to see you in my next one. Bye!